Hello, welcome back to setting up a journal in OJS 3.3. In this module, we'll look at some of the background of the Public Knowledge Project and Open Journal Systems. As you work through the course, this information will help you understand a little bit more about who we are and the projects that we're working on. PKP is a non-profit, university-based research and development initiative in scholarly publishing. Its research home base is at Stanford University in the United States, and its operations and software development home is at Simon Fraser University in Canada. PKP was founded in 1998 by Dr. John Golinski, who continues today as PKP director. From the beginning, PKP has been researching how to better connect the general public to knowledge that is created at universities, and quickly realized that online articles were not freely available for people without library access. This made demonstrating the value of university research to general public that funds it with their taxes very difficult. As a result, Open Journal Systems was created in 2001 as a free open source software for publishing open access journals. The goal was to build a software application that would make publishing articles so easy and efficient that they could be shared for free, among researchers, but also with the general public. If you aren't familiar with open source software, we've included some material in the readings to provide some further information. Examples you may have heard of include the Firefox browser, and the Android smartphone operating system. Basically, it's software that is free to download, use, and revise to best meet your own local needs. And if you'd like to learn more about open access and why it is important, we've included some readings on that as well. As a quick overview, the OJS software provides a website for a journal, as well as a system for online submissions, peer review, editing, and publishing. It keeps track of every step of the workflow, provides automatic notifications and email-based communication, and interoperates with many other publishing systems, such as Logs for digital preservation, Crossref for digital object identifiers, Dataverse for data management, ORCID for other identifiers, and more. As of today, over 20,000 journals from over 100 countries use OJS for publishing, and over 40% of the journals in the directory of open access journals use OJS. One of the amazing things about OJS is that it gives local communities control over their publishing infrastructure, freeing them to publish what they like, how they like. It also involves an active, dedicated volunteer community who contribute to the code, help with software testing, write documentation, participate in our community governance bodies, and assist each other on the support forum. As well, volunteers have translated OJS into over 40 languages, which allows you to publish in your language of choice or in two or more languages. We can thank these volunteers enough for their contributions and invite you to consider getting involved in making OJS better as well. PKP released version 3.3, the latest and most advanced version of the software. This course will be focused in Disney version of OJS. For more background on PKP and OJS, check out the readings in this module. If you have any questions or want to share your experience using OJS, please 
post them in the discussion area below. Thanks for watching! I'll see you again in the next module.